Hello to all the boys and girls out there who love to read nonfiction and aspiring nonfiction readers for some inquiry-based learning. Uh, we have some fantastic books to go over today. So my name is Miss Tiffany from McDonough Public Library, and I will be sharing with you some new nonfiction books we have received in our Henry County Library System. Are you ready? Up first we have Democracy for Dinosaurs, A Guide for Young Citizens, is written by Lori Brown and illustrated by Mark Brown. You might recognize the name Mark Brown from our series that has Arthur the Aardvark. He is the same one. Um, this dynamic duo has a whole series of these dinosaur books that teach about different things, such as how to be a good friend, how to cope with difficult situations. So if you like these kind of books, it might be perfect for you. Let's open up and read what this one is about. Calling all citizens, if you belong to a community, know how to share and be fair, and want good rules for everyone, then you can make a difference every day. It's never too soon to start putting our country's core values to work, and it's not as hard as you may think. From the creators of the best-selling Dino Tales Life Guides for Family series comes an introductory guide that encourages even the littlest ones to become engaged citizens of the world around them. So that is Democracy for Dinosaurs, a Guide for Young Citizens by Lori Brown and illustrated by Mark Brown. And then on the back, there's some interesting illustrations. Hopefully you will be putting this on hold and checking it out soon. This is The Big Book of Blooms by Yuval Zomer. And as you can see, it is a pretty big book. Um, it is all about flowers and things that bloom. And on the inside, I want to share with you some of the beautiful illustrations. Remember in the last video, I said that a lot of nonfiction books have become more engaging because they have beautiful illustrations inside. So this book teaches you about flower families, pollinators, and different kind of blooms that happen throughout the year. But I will read the back so that way you can hear a little bit more about it. What does a Venus flytrap eat? How strong is a giant water lily? Do flowers bloom at night? You'll find these answers to these thorny questions and many more inside, along with everything you need to know about how botanists are helping save the planet and how you can grow your own garden. As you meet all kinds of colorful, carnivorous, weird, and wonderful flowering plants from around the world, you can play search and find in the pictures too. Can you spot the special light bulb? And then on the back, there are other books that um, are big books, like the Big Book of Bugs, the Big Book of Beasts, the Big Books of the Blue, which is about the sea, and then the Big Book of Birds. So if you guys ever really like a book and you want to see if there's something similar, sometimes they'll have pictures of the other books on the back, as well as on the inside at the back of the book, they might have other of their books uh, listed inside. But anyway, if you want to check out The Big Book of Blooms, I highly recommend it. It is a wonderful read. Hopefully I will see it checked out soon. I know a lot of you out there are excited seeing this book up on the screen because not only is it Scooby-Doo, but it is a cookbook by Katrina Jorgensen. It is kid-friendly recipes for the whole gang. The Scooby-Doo cookbook is guaranteed to solve any case of hunger. This is the official Scooby-Doo cookbook, and it's jam-packed with inspirational photos, kid-friendly recipes, and callbacks to your favorite Scooby-Doo stories. There are 25 recipes from the Mystery Ink Gang, Scooby's favorite treats, Shaggy's must-have monstrous sandwiches, and spooky snacks are sure to please any meddling kids. There's tips for new chefs, conversion charts, and lots more. Scooby-Doo Cookbook will be a fan favorite for all ages. It is rummy. So let's open it up and I will show you a sneak peek of the Mystery Map Pizza. So that looks fantastic. It looks like it has pickles on it. So if you are a fan of pickles, you will probably love this pizza. But there are a ton, 25, of recipes in here. So check out the information below with your grown-up and you can see how you can put this on hold and check it out yourself. 
Okay, and for our final book, it is actually a book series. It is um, country books that we have received. So if you feel like going on an adventure from your very own home all over the world, these books might be perfect for you. Or if you have one of those school projects about investigating different countries, these books are fantastic. They are the Big Buddy books. Um, I will show you an example of Kenya. So when you first open it up, you can see a beautiful scene from the country. There's a table of contents and every page will have information about the country. And then in the very, very back, it will have all of the statistical facts that usually a project asks for. So if you are interested in exploring the world, we have several countries. Um, for example, I have three right now. I have Kenya, South Korea, and Syria. Um, again, we have, I think, 12 right now, but we are going to be having more come in. So you can look on our catalog and see if there is one you are interested in. All right, boys and girls, that is our new nonfiction book video. I hope you saw something that you like. Again, if you did, check out the information below the video with your grown-up to figure out how to put a book on hold, and that way it can be yours for two weeks at a time. Until next time, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!